Look, you guys, while we're talking about palms, um, let's say somebody picks a nine. And I put it in the middle. And I give it a cut, and I give it another 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 cut, and and I shuffle it. I forgot what the card was again. Oh, yeah. And so their cards are nine, and I shuffle it, and I show people this. This right here, I show it to them, and this is exactly what I do before I palm the card. The first thing I do is just tell them, hey, take the cards first. That, because once they have the cards, they, um, then when they give it back to you, they're always expecting you to palm it, but you've already had it to your back pocket because, let me just show you something, and I'm sure you guys probably caught that. But if I'm going to palm a card, if you palm, if there's only one or two spectators there, I'm going to grab it like this and hand them the deck. Because, and I'm going to stand there and talk to them for, for a minute. Because this is literally undetectable. And then I'm going to pick my pants up and, and I'm going to put it in my back pocket if I want to leave it there. And I'm going to come back and we're going to talk for a while. And I'm going to say, you're not going to believe this, but your car jump to my to my back pocket. So a bottom palm, you guys, is a, is a gambler's cop. So once you get the card controlled to the bottom, I spread them out like this. And again, with misdirection, I talk to them for a second because, well, actually, you can pull it together like this to where when you peel the card off this way and it drops, it'll never show. So you really don't have to worry about misdirection. And uh, you have quite a ways to go. You can go a little bit in here before it flashes. And when it's just naturally hanging by your side, you can go a little bit out here. So you got a little bit of leeway there. So when, you're, when your hand's just in a very relaxed position and they're holding the card, you know, and you're standing there, I promise you guys, or you reach to your back pocket. You, when you reach, put your thumb in front of the card. It's the only thing I can tell you about um, a back palm is you don't want it to sh flash even that much. So if you're going to reach to the back, right as you get here, put your thumb in front of it. But last thing, again, if I'm going to palm a card to it and off the bottom and I go, okay, look, here's what we're going to do. You go ahead and take those. You know, I'm going to show you something, though. Your card jumped to my back pocket. In other words, I'm really not going to stand there and hold it. I'm, the card is jumped. The card has jumped to my pocket. So I'm going to my pocket with that palm, and I am going to pull it out. So in other words, it's another one of those things where you, you just go, okay, here, I'll tell you what. You take that card. I can adjust my pants if I want to put it in there. Or I can just reach in and go check it out. Your card jumped to my back pocket. So a bottom palm, you guys, looks like this. Here. You're going to push all the cards up forward like this, holding the cop. When you let go, you're going to turn your hand this way, uh, which is not quite straight. It's kind of like I don't know how to explain it. Um, go in front of a mirror, and then your hand's going to come right down to your side. And then if you reach back, just put, if you reach back, if you decide to talk here for a minute, and you reach back, put your thumb in like this. Just put your thumb here so it doesn't flash. When you put your thumb here, not only when you put your thumb here, you can squeeze and hold the card so your hand can actually flatten out. So when you're here and you go for your back palm, you can actually you can actually flatten your hand out like this and reach back and pull it out. So if I was to do that and hang it there for a second, I'd probably do that. But it's also going to be um, so fast 
that's going to look like, and that card flipped over. It's going to be so fast, I'm going to say, hey, check this out. Your card jumped to my back pocket. So when I say, hey, check this out, I'm looking at him. I say, hey, check this out. And I moved there, just like with the top palm. If it's in the top palm here, and it's on its way down, and it's on its way down, I'm here and I go, hey, check this out. And then we all look down and I pull out the card. So it's just, uh, I hate getting busted doing palms. So I'll go like, hey, so I'll go like, hey, check this out. And because I'm talking to them, even though the camera's watching me, they're not watching me because I'm talking to them. So when I, this is almost, this is not irrelevant, but it's, it becomes irrelevant because you go, you look them dead in the eye and you go, hey, check this out. I'm going to show you something. So even if the card flashed a little bit, they're not going to see it because I'm talking to them and it's too low for them to see it in their peripheral vision. If you want to just be on the safe side, take your thumb and put it in the front and say, hey, you know what? You can go like this. Hey, you know what? Wait till your hand's at least right here as you're talking to them and say, check this out. So your hand, they can see your hand maybe at the very last bit of it sliding back. But I wouldn't even do that. I'd make sure that it was here. And I'd go, check this out. My hand would already be behind me. I'm not going to take any chances, you guys. So that's a bottom palm. And just like the top palm, I try to minimize all, all the variables that are going to get me busted, which are how do I make it look natural coming off the top, I do not wait, even though I'm in the videos, I'm waiting, showing you that how I'm sh waiting because I want you guys to see that when it's in motion, it's not, it's really very undetectable. But last but not least, it's already behind my back before I quit talking to them. So when they look down, the damage is already done with both the bottom card and the top part, because I'm going to go to the top palm, I'm going to take it like this, and right as my hand clears their side, I'm going to go check this out and look down at my hip. So they're not going to even see the palm. Same with the bottom palm. I got it here, and I take it out. I'm going to go check this out. My hand's already going to be in the back. I'm going to go, you know what, your card jumped. So with both the top and the bottom card, um, you know what, man? Palming cards for me freaks me out. So I make sure that I eliminate like every possible way that I can, whether it be a top palm or a bottom palm, by talking to them with misdirection, trying to get everything that I can uh, as undetectable. And, and then not even giving them the opportunity to see me move my hand, you know, with, with talking to them. Hey, you know what? I want to tell you something. And my hand's already in my back pocket. By the time I look back and then they look back. I mean, I know I'm spending a lot, a lot of time on this, you guys, but if you hate getting busted <laughs> with a top palm or a pop, bottom palm or you've gotten busted palm and someone goes, I just saw you palm that, you know, and you get tired of hearing that, or that's ever happened to you, and it's happened to me uh, when I first started doing magic. There's just nothing. Uh, I felt like when I did a top palm, I was like, I have like a, it's a miracle if I pull this off. Because I didn't have, you know, because it just scared to death, you know. So anyway, if you guys take any of these tips, whether it be the top or the bottom, and you apply them, um, I, I can guarantee you, I don't think, if you, the bottom palm, you don't want to do it more, more than spectators right in front of you, because they'll see it. The top palm, honestly, if you're talking and you're looking at everybody in their eyes, as you drag the card back, and then if you look back, they will all look back with you. I don't think, no, I've never had anybody, even five people, because I'm talking to all five of them. 
And while I'm talking to him and I'm here, I go, and because this doesn't look like I'm prominent, the car goes all the way behind my back and I go, I, as they talk to him, I go, you're not going to believe this. And then I look down and the car's already <laughs> way behind me and they all look and I pull the card out. So just, this is 10 minutes, but if this 10 minutes saves you from somebody going, dude, that's lame. I just saw you palm that card. I got places to be. Um, whether it be the top palm or a side palm, you don't even want to get me started on this middle palm because uh, I get brutally, uh, brutally paranoid pulling out a middle palm, you know, which is basically the same as a top palm. I'm still holding it with my hand once I, I take it out. But anyway, um, I hope that if you guys use this and it irons out any op any makes it like an almost very 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 low percentage that you're going to get busted then then I hope it serves you well um if you're getting busted change it up change it to this change it to something any other technique but change it because people love busting magicians and there's no faster way to get busted than with a palm so uh I, I'm the paranoid palmer. That's what should be my name. Hey, that guy, that guy palms cards so paranoid that he like micro analyzes it all. But you know what? I'm not getting caught, and that's what matters. So you guys, please push like and push subscribe, and let's keep going. That's 11 minutes talking about how not to get busted, and um, and. I guess that's long enough, huh? All right, you guys. I really don't. Okay. Can I quit talking? If I can quit talking, I'll, I'll, I'll watch this. Bye, you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Have a nice one. Peace. Take care. All right. Bye-bye, guys.